hello everyone welcome back again to uh easy way of passing the graded assessment of uh google it support in coursera today we are still dealing with module 2 which is bit and byte of computer networking and the graded assessment that we'll be doing today will be the one of week six which is ipv6 so now i'm going to navigate to week six it's loading then i will just go straight to the graded assessment so that we can do it and here's the graded assessment ipv6 compression i'll click on it now it's telling me to uh resume the assessment resume and now i'm here on the graded assessment it says this assessment is best optimized for a laptop or desktop this is just an instruction where of what you are supposed to do and now we have 10 questions to answer from here but before we proceed i want to really tell us one key thing that we need to actually understand about this ipv6 we should know that in ipv6 um the ipv6 network setting are actually written as eight groups of 16 bits each and each of the groups contain an hexadecimal number what i mean by that is that if you count from here to here or from here to here you see that there are actually eight groups so this is one two three four five six seven eight that is what is meant by ipv6 i written as eight groups of 16 bits and each of the groups contain an hexadecimal number when we have hexadecimal numbers when we have numbers mixed with alphabet as you can see from here 7d 2b 00a9 so like that that combination of numbers becomes an hexadecimal number so uh the tricks here is that for ipv6 compression it says when we have any group when we have any group containing a leading zero then that zero of the leading group should be eliminated so in this case we have zero zero that is leading this particular group in this one the whole of this group is, is zero this one we have is zero zero leading this group this one we have is zero leading this group so we should make sure that any group containing is zero that lead it we have to remove that is zero so that is one the second trick again is when we have group of the hexadecimal number and we have group of zeros coming at the same time together what i mean is that let's we have this one as a group of zero i did been this one also is a group of zeros then we will turn it to column as we proceed i will show you what i mean by that but let's start answering this and we'll see what i mean by when we have uh two groups of zeros coming together then that will be in column you understand better so let's proceed for this i will start then one important thing that i want to notice here is you know uh we might feel uh lazy of typing so we might want to try to copy this this way 
press ctrl c and paste it here if you do that the system will see it as a bug and you won't be able to continue so i'm going to try that now ctrl v as you can see first group second group third group fourth group it stopped at fourth group it didn't copy the other groups because it had actually seen it as a bug and in this respect you won't be able to continue to type as you can see i'm trying to type now i'm trying to press the keyboard trying to type i don't know whether you can hear the sound of the keyboard it is not responding because it's already seen it as a bug so you cannot continue to type so how to answer this is you have to keep typing the letters and the numbers one after the other with the column so let's start with this 7 d 2 b column the next group have leading zeros which is zero zero so those zero zeros will be eliminated then we have a 9 column a 0 c 4 column now since this is just one group that has zero so this group has to be replaced with zero it is not groups of zeros coming together this is just one group of zero so that's being replaced with zero but assuming it is another group that there are two of them to be replaced with column you see what i mean by that so it's going to be replaced with zero then column a772 column we have zero zero that we have zero zero that start this so to replace with fd column a five two three column three five eight so now let's check as you can see the answer is correct so we proceed to the next question and you understand more of what i'm talking about next question this also has just a single group of zero that comes so to be replaced with just one zero also so let's start So let's check the answer as you can see it's also correct so let's proceed now for this what i tried to explain earlier on as you can see this is a group of zeros this is another group of zeros now they have come together as 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 two groups as two groups now so in this case now we will replace this group and this group with just a column and this particular group will still be replaced with just one is zero let's proceed this first column here that i typed here is to signify this column here but this group and this group that we're going to combine to a column i will still type another column for it that is the column for it now then i will proceed with this set of group which is d three six seven column seven c 
8 e column this will still be replaced with one single zero because it's just one group of zeros that comes as a standalone so let's check the answer now as you can see it's correct simply because i have replaced these two groups these two groups of of zeros that come together with this single column only then i proceeded with these other groups so let's proceed so now question four of ten Let's check the answer. As you can see, it's correct. Let's proceed to question number five. Let's check now. As you can see, it's correct. And this junction, I want to quickly call our attention to something important as well. You might finish typing and check, and it might tell you it's wrong. And you are so sure of yourself that you type the that you did uh, the rules. You follow the rules of turning. Um, one of the groups that has a zero to just a single zero or when you have groups of zero that come together and you turn it to a column and it might still tell you that it's wrong at that point check your typo but maybe because it's large numbers that we are typing it's long so maybe when you are trying to type you might probably uh press three instead of four you understand so check that one but eventually like we run into search before the end of this answering then you understand what i mean by that but let's proceed now question six again another thing that we need to notice here for this kind of question that comes now is as you can see that we have the groups of zero that comes together here and we have the groups of zero also here that comes together one more that trick here is that that column of representing two groups of zeros or three groups okay of representing more than one group of zeros that comes together like two or three because this is already two that comes together here but we have another group here that's already separating them from group of zeros then we have another group of zeros there that come that comes if we have such question like this that has two groups of separate zeros that column of representing groups of zero that come together can only appear once in one group of ipv6 compression it can only appear once so so what i'm going to do here two 
six zero six column column because this first column is for this and the second column is for this group of zero that comes together one f two b column d seven seven f now we cannot just use column for these next two groups because we have already had column that comes to already for this group and can only appear once so in this case what we're going to do is we're going to replace these groups of zero with zero column zero column zero column eight nine c e remember i said the column can only appear once in a compression but when we have these other groups coming together again we just replace them with zero let's check our answer okay this is exactly what i was talking about that probably maybe i must have typed a typographical error somewhere so let's check for my typos two as you can see i type six here instead of b because b and six almost looks together so that's why i said when you are sure that you have actually followed the rules of of the compression and you are still getting that it is wrong at that junction check your typo i figure out what my error is here yes should be b so let me check my answer now as you can see it's correct now since i've changed that six to b so don't panic when you know that yes you have actually followed the rules and the tricks of the compression but you still have you still have it shaded red just check your typo as i said so let's proceed to the next question 5d 66 column 5e c9 column I have leading zeros now, so to be four six column. I have zero now that comes zero column twenty five seventy six four F seven one five nine six three nine six three nine. Let's check the answer. You can see it's correct. Let's proceed. C eight B four three four Sorry, I put zero here. It's not supposed to be there. One C E seventy six five D A six six. E. I call it notice I put zero here. So I'm gonna delete it. So let me check. C eight b434 6ee ec2f 3c9 1ce 765d a66b so let's check it's correct let's proceed 8b fa
so just check this one also okay saying is wrong so let's check for our typographical error 8 b f a 9 9 f o d 4 c 5 b 8 c yes i missed yeah so i should have f 6 f yeah column before 4 d f 2 8 0 4 2 8 3 d that's exactly what i meant that you might have it to be wrong but just check your typo it's correct now so let's proceed so this last one you can see this is three groups of zero so it's going to be just be replaced with just one column just one column because remember what i said that when we have two or more groups of zero coming at the same time together that is when to be replaced by a column so let's answer this question e b column column d eight c one column nine four six column two seven two column eight seven nine this is not a column yes let's check the answer now yes as you can see it's all correct we had all the 10 questions correct 10 over 10 then all, all what you have to do now is just to click that yes you are the one that did the question so you just click here that you are satisfied that you are the one that answered the question and just click submit and when you click submit then to give you you see you received 100 percent but to pass this particular assessment you need to have 80 percent or higher but in your own case now are going to be having 100 over 100 percent please and please if you like this video please share with your colleagues share with friends colleagues that colleagues and friends that you know that are also doing this course and they're finding it difficult to tackle this ipv6 compression share with them and please subscribe to my youtube channel see you again next time have a blessed day